Right now, this water level is only about ankle deep, but as you can see, my pants are soaked because at places, the water level is pretty deep. This is Hezekiah's tunnel. We're about five minutes into this tunnel. It's very tight, and uh, it takes the, the, the sign said it takes 40 minutes to pass. Jerusalem is truly a miraculous, a miraculous place. I pray that even when you are in tight spaces, maybe soaked to the bone and between a rock and a hard place, you have Abba Shalom. Amen. Hey, what's the name of that deep dig that we're next to right now? Neville? What? What's the name of that dig we're next to right now? Givati, G-I-V-A-T-I. Givati. So right now, we're right by the Gavati parking lot <coughs> dig, and you can find a little staircase that leads to a closed off entrance that leads to a tunnel that brings us right up next to the western <coughs> wall. Old city. Is this the one leading up to the uh, exit with the uh, Hey everybody, I'm sitting at my desk making the video right now, and this clip I'm going to put on the end of it. So, I'll be honest with you, the lesson that I learned while walking through these tunnels is a difficult lesson. So if you don't want to hear what's probably a tough lesson, if you haven't already learned it, then you've already seen the clips and you're good to go. But if you do want to hear some truth that might be some tough love kind of truth, here it is. Hezekiah's tunnel is known as a place where lots and lots and lots of Jews died. If I've got my story accurate, inside of that tunnel, that waterway, uh, a lot of Jews hid down there. It was a secret place that not many people knew about, but eventually the Roman soldiers, they heard them down there. They found the place, and it was filled 400 meters, 40 minutes of walking. It was filled, I think it might have been more than 400 meters. Either way, the, the figure 40 minutes of walking-ish is an accurate figure. Filled with people were drowned. They filled that tunnel with water and killed a lot of Jews. So how is there a lesson there? Yeshua spoke a lot about planting. He used that as a metaphor for spiritual things continually. Yehovah, the Father, he put Adam and Eve in the garden to tend to the earth. You see, our bodies are made up of the clay of the earth, and then Adam was meant to care for things that grew out of that clay. It's a beautiful picture and a great media for us to learn about who we are. And here's the lesson. Oftentimes, we get ourselves into trouble. God hasn't gotten us into trouble. Satan hasn't gotten us into trouble. We have gotten ourselves into trouble. We are the kings of our own lives. He's given us free will to make choices. Every time that we make a choice, we're sowing a seed. And sometimes when we pray to the Lord and say, God, here I am between this rock and a hard place and the waters are coming up, we've already overextended our amount of miracles that are allowed for us. Yeshua said, it is a wicked and adulterous generation that seeks after miracles, signs, wonders. He did these things for people, and he had his reasons. But oh, how 
beautiful it is when we have planted seeds of righteousness and trees of righteousness are springing forth and the fruit of righteousness is showing for God's name and for His glory. Brothers and sisters, I pray that this message and these videos have blessed you abundantly and that you have enjoyed these clips from Jerusalem. And I look forward to Shavuot. Hallelujah and Amen. Be strong, be strong. And again I say, be strong. Amen.